This video is made possible by MSI. Recently, I shot a video at the Promised Skate Park. I made a nice little edit and I shot everything in 120 frames per second on the Sony a7R III. This means that I can play around with time remapping. You know, slowing down and speeding up clips on my MSI laptop, which we'll get into in a moment. Now, I'm not specifically going to show you the basics of how that works, as there are already like plenty of tutorials out there. No, in this video, I wanna share five tips on how to effectively use time remapping. You see, you don't just randomly time remap your shots. There has to be a purpose behind it, like why you do it. And the first purpose could be for a transition. You speed up an action on the last part of your first clip, and then you do the same thing with the second clip, but let it go to normal or even slow motion. And, you know, this connects the two clips together. Of course, you can do the same thing with having the transition go to slow motion. Now, just like with any transition, make sure that they are fast. Definitely when you speed up your clips. You're talking about speed. I'd like to thank MSI for sponsoring this episode with their very fast P60 creator laptops. Now, these are creation laptops and are built for creative tasks. Now by clicking the first link in the description below, you can already see the different options that fit your budget. Now the P65 are Max-Q ready, which means that the dedicated NVIDIA graphics cards has slightly better performance in a smaller and quieter package. A beautiful IPS 4K display, which covers 100% of the Adobe RGB color space. You'll get the latest generation Intel i9 processor and that all packed within a sturdy aluminum body. Now I've been using this laptop at home for a very long time now and I'm perfectly able to edit 4K footage and even red raw on it. They also keep upgrading the P65 so you're always sure that you'll get the latest hardware within the laptop. I am a very big fan and I can definitely recommend to check it out guys so if you're looking for a powerhouse laptop make sure to click that first link down below. The second time remapping tip is to emphasize an action. So look for a part in your shot where you like to draw more attention to, like with the inline skaters, that's of course their trick. Definitely when they hang at the highest point in the air. But it could also be something small, like a girl looking up or smiling. A small gesture which you emphasize by adding slow motion to it. Keep this slow part short as well. A big mistake that many people make is holding their slow motion for too long. You add slow motion to the action and either speed the clip back up or cut to the next shot. Tip number three. Most of us know how to speed up or slow down a clip, but did you know that if you hold down your control key or command key for the Mac users and then drag open a keyframe, it will reverse the second part. And like with every speed change, make sure to smoothen the change as well. And this is where the term speed ramping comes from. You know, you create a ramp in between. I'll consider that a bonus tip. So let's jump to tip number four, play with the music. Or even better, search for music that also has lots of dynamic. When the music goes into a more silent part, you could put all of your clips into slow motion and then suddenly speed it back up as the crescendo comes. But also try to look for playful things within the music. A very typical example is with hip hop music, where you hear the music going in reverse or a record scratch. Use that also to map your clip to go in reverse for that short moment. Tip number five, the last one, whenever you speed up your clip, you look for an action like we've seen before, but also look for the movement within that action. At all times, you wanna avoid that it feels like your clip is being fast forwarded, unless you have a good reason for it, of course. And here's what I mean. We've got a shot of a model walking, and when speeding up the clip, only do that in one movement. For example, here where her foot is moving. At the point where she puts her foot down, the movement is being interrupted or we get a different movement. And here's the result of that, which feels and looks good. And then here's an example where we speed up multiple movements, which feels like the clip now has been fast forwarded. So not only look for actions, but also single movements. And those were my five tips for better time remapping. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you MSI for the support. And as always, stay creative.